Thank you for messing around. Vampire Survivor's Beswick 110 starts now. Ah, crap. You're too damn. No, it's Gyor Rontan. Gyor to run. Gyor Badan. Bob. Gyor Rontan. Gyor Rontan. Gyor Rontan. This town is a part of us all. A part of us all. A part of us all. Okay, so... That's not bad. Well, time for the old bracelet horror shoe. Okay, Requiem explodes. This one freezes on the base. That is helpful. Alright, go down to the tomes first. Oh, if only it would shoot and pierce and do a lot of other good things. Duplicator. Duplicator does not affect the bracelet. I should check this in advance. I even did it once, but I did not. Vampire survivors. So much seat of the pants, fine. Duplicator does affect it, huh? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, so they want Bracer so it fires out faster, Candle Labrador so it's bigger, Spinach for damage, Candle Labrador is on the map, so Bracer, Spinach, Duplicator, Torona's box, then Crown, and a defensive. You laser gun. Crown good. Wait, no, crown bad. Crown evil. No. Oh, hey, they're doing a Galaga thing. Space invader thing. Neat. Ah, uh, what's. I got a lot of health, so I'll get Hollow Heart. Well, the damage doesn't matter. It's the pierce that I need. Oh, nice. Okay, that'll make out a decent amount of them now, so... Oh, at least I have a giant health pool. Cronus box? Good. Don't want Spellbinder, because with enough attack speed, it'll hit the amount limit on screen. So I'm just going to grab the other three that boost up the bracelet, since even the base ones do count towards it for some reason. So this will count for the second one, and then Twilight Requiem for the second Bracer, and then Heart of Fire for the third. Wow, a lot of... Uh-oh. Yep, got a level. And I don't have the speed to run, either. Do I have extra armor? I do not have extra armor. Wow, they don't stay... S frozen for long. Well, I could just stay here. We'll let the chickens safeguard me for a bit. Alright, more area clear is very helpful for leveling up. Spinach, so is damage. And so... Ow, oh, dang it, that was bad. You need to save that till I got Bracer up. Maybe I want less XP. <laughs> Candle Arbiter was on the map. Good, now the next chest will give me what I need. Need that damage. What I'm looking for on the back end. Hollow Heart and Bracer. Bracer, really? I guess it does shoot it to the end as fast as possible, so... Yikes. It's a lot of health gone. Still nothing, eh? Okay. 
hit his bracer, that'll flare it out further. Oh sweet, hopefully that provides enough. Yeah, why does it flare out randomly instead of that actually enemies? It's so strange. Oh, NFT. Okay, now hopefully I can grab Hollow Heart. Bracer 2, the Bi Bracer. It doesn't even fire at a random enemy. It fires at a nothing sometimes. At least being able to evolve things is nice. Bye bye, Bracer. See, it's still freezing things even when it's on the second level because of how a bracelet works. Maybe it's tagged like that internally to avoid the candy box of you just grabbing the back one. But is it like that for when you do it with a character that starts with the evolved thing? So that's why Mask of the Red Death say could get it. What am I talking about? I know exactly what I want to get. Here. Yeah, Twilight Requiem. And I get Curse off of it, so it'll do a lot more damage. Freezes and explodes. Once fully powered up, it's slightly less terrible. Yeah. I really need this hollow heart to show up so I can grab it. So I can go and grab the dang empty comb there. But it does not want to show at all. It's very strange. It's got a very high weight to show up. There we go. Vanish Shoal Toronas box here. Right, levels are dangerous. Chicken. Give me all that chicken up there. Uh oh. Man, it is the firing on it so bad. The damage is good, but you can't just sew the weapon with it because the firing is so random and bad. It does that. See, it just does very good work cleaning out ways. It doesn't really matter when it doesn't fire correctly if things that are actually threatening you, like every other weapon, would really do. Okay, good. Also, they're not getting frozen for as long as I thought they would. Oh, NFT. That's very helpful. Alright, charge it off. Gotta get that can to work. really would be helpful if it shot correctly. Oh well. At least when I get hard of fire, it'll be even better. Uh, the thing is, it's just a terrible solo weapon. But you get it paired with anything else, it's going to do a ton of work for you. Just in this situation. And I have an even harder stage to go through, I think. Tiny bridge. Tiny bridge, maybe. I really need to remind myself to go into the dang Discord. Get that other stuff set up. Wait, it's not here. Oh right, this is the starting one. It's up a bit more. Uh oh. Oh wait, no, these this is helpful. This draws a ton of wood. Now I can limit break. Just heart of fire. Now everything explodes. It's incredibly risky to do this over grabbing a wake right there, but it can be worth it when the game starts lagging in. 
Plus, I just got picked up a whole ton of stuff, so... Yeah, they get frozen and knocked back twice. Now, once I get King Armor to work, it'll be even better. Let's all keep them all nice and aligned. Does that look funny? One can of Arbador. Alright, now try and grab a vacuum. There's a big red gem. Sweet. And yet they're still getting in despite maxed out power. Okay, so go sit on top of that defensive area with all the chickens. That way I can run to it. And if get super desperate, I can grab a vacuum and use that spam of level ups to shoot out a ton of da -da 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 -da. bracelet stuff. Bracelet breath. Breathless bracelet. It is being recorded, right? Yes. And the audio is being captured. Uh, hopefully this is the advent of a complete lack of tech problems. I say as the world then shifts off its polar axis to destroy me. Ooh, I got a rosary over there too, just in case. Okay, this wasn't so bad because I was able to get it going. Of course, it could still go terrible once the big foxy cubes... Foxy cubes. Boxy cubes. That's it. The solution. It's been staring us in the face all along. Boxy cubes. That's where he's hiding. That's where the vampire is. The boxy cube. Oh man, I can't even remember if it, my dream about vampire survivors made it in the video. Like a giant red death. Like takes up three fourths of the screen. You only see like. Oh, you don't see any, like, legs. It's just like a torso, the head, the arms, and the sight. No face mask like in Red Death. Or mask in the Red Death. I don't know, remember its moves, but it was probably really impressive. Then you beat that, a giant coffin opens up. It's pulsing blue. And the vampire reaches out, and you get white-handed, effectively. So hopefully I win this so I don't have to repeat it. Yeah. Man, don't you remember when you get this like greatest dream you ever had? You want to rush and write it down just so it's down on print. Then you don't. Then you forget about it. Man, those stories I have. Yeah. Like, one of them was a, sort of ended up being a Batman dream all, all of a sudden. I don't know why it didn't start like that. And it became a Batman dream. It involved time loops and time travel. And it's like an Arkham Asylum replacement or something like that. I can't even remember. But sort of like the episode of the DCAU with Batman and speaking with Ace. Wow, I got a lot of health, don't I? I have almost a thousand health. How did that happen? Oh, that explains a lot. Yep, I need to get that. I guess I could get that rosary. Oh, wait, did I win? Wow, death can't even get in because there's so much in the way. Wow. The limit. Wait, they aren't getting rosary. Huh. Oh, this is awkward. A lot of curse, too. I guess they keep dropping stuff, don't they? Oh, hey, one of the deaths got in. That was interesting to see. Alright, but if you're a run time. Cure run tan. Cure run tan. Okay, 
ENFT managed to out DPS it despite all I did to help it. Oh, it didn't even make it to a million damage with Heart of Fire. Oh, well, that was all the damage you can get now. Yeah. Alright, that's the first one done. Hopefully the second is just as painful. Alrighty, your Ronton is running into a ton of trouble. I don't need to go that far. Okay, priority has to be on bracelet. I have to get that to 5 ASAP. I don't have a choice. Too much on the line. Yeah, I'm giving up Duplicator. I'm giving up Torona's box. I'm giving up the Tome. This has to get to the second level of Pierce as soon as possible. No. Well, Empty Tome is fine. That increases my success rate dramatically. But anything else has to be held off. Because I need to get the ability to pierce through these waves ASAP. Well, Crown helps, but... Just to make sure they're there. Why that way? Doesn't help that it seems like they get frozen for less with this. I have to dive again. Jeez, Bryce, show up. I've seen Torona's box more. So four Torona's boxes to one bracelet. Doesn't have Pierce yet. Oh, that's amazing talk. Well, that gets me more hits total, so I can kind of wave back. so necessary. Now if I can just chew through all this, might have enough. And finally evolve it. Or not. Small. Over. Grab. Right gem grab. Good, good. One more projectile. Okay, I think I might finally have enough stats just because I got lucky with the NFT. Finally pushed through here. Yeah, just maybe just barely by the skinniest of tees. Wait, was she Austrian or German? I suppose I'll never find out. Good, good. Level 5. One more level and I can go grab that buy bracelet. Luck's finally turning around! Yay. God dang it, I don't want to use any more re-rolls if I don't have to. Big red jet. Give me a big level. What do I even want for the last one? Can't offer to work, because that'll affect Twilight Requiem and Heart of Fire as well. I think. Yeah. There we go, now to evolve. Finally evolve.
Yep, look at just the difference already. Crazy. One more enemy means I get more wave clear. I can actually take down things on the side here. Maybe not. Not consistently, that's what I mean. But I can do it. Just get that Arcana back. Dealt with. That lasts longer. Not what I need or want. At least I'm getting all full use out of all these dang chickens. Ooh, if I can evolve into Cry Bracelet ASAP, that's very helpful. Hard now. I think there's something that gets a bonus off the first that I have. There we go. Crown. Fry bracelet. Ooh, and some spinach. You know, I gotta be careful. Okay, it should be well enough to get through. Hey, Twilight Rock on the first page, nice. Well, it took quite a number of runs, but I was finally able to get enough RNG luck to pierce through. Well, at least I hope so. Who knows what the future may bring, other than pain and misery. get chest for other stuff. Hey, a small phobo, nice. Hey, Arcana. Where's my hard fighter? And I have all my revives, too. That's really good. Oh, yeah, now they're just getting cleaved apart. Banish you with the bonus box. The abyss with thee. Just time to sit back and relax and watch the bat country run into its destruction. <laughs> After a sheer struggle to get this far, it's nice to just be able to kick that. Yeah, it was a bit RNG based to get through here, especially with the health range of the bats. The chicken one was a very good lifesaver. And I then had Stalker or Starburst show up to ruin my day, like in some of the failed ones. Go away, candy box. Then between Twilight Requiem and Heart of Fire, I should be able to just keep these bats far back and away. Oh, right, I should go blow up the rest of the walls so I can get all that luck to loot just in case some bad goes on. And get a vacuum for a whole ton of levels. Oh, what should be a whole ton of levels. Wow, that did not go well. <laughs> Someone with Holy Wand. Oh, wait, I did do late, I did. Oh, another. Oh, what's my random event going to be? Alright, no rush. Chicken Bonanza. Chicken Bonanza, yeah, nice. Watch now, boom, boom. Yeah, if I had, like, more curse stuff on this one in war. But it's nice having to have all three arcana, um, four technically, on one weapon, affect one weapon, and just go ham with it.
directly affect it. So I know, yeah, you can go out, out of bounds with the wands and stuff. Get it affected like that. But nothing quite like bracelet here. Yeah, multiple status effects popping out. The only other thing that does it is gonna be Luminaire with you know, Prismatic Missile. Ooh. Oh, I'm hitting the projectile limit, aren't I? Oh, it's not that big a deal. I like there's much else to do. Ooh, just move a tiny bit with that. Snake go out the window. He didn't even know. It's time to move on. Now I'm gonna end up using all my revives. Never even broke two digit minutes with all the failed runs. Heck, I never even evolved by bracelet. It just would not give me the bracelet on any of the failed runs. Ooh, the big bats are making their play. Can they surpass the rosary? Oh, they're doing their best. Ooh, they're getting so close, they're hurting your run tan. Your run ton. Your run ton. Wait. Is it Zan Tetsuken or is it Zante Tetsuken? No, I'm not that anyone was watching, but it seems it actually is like a chan instead of a chan. I was trying to overcompensate. The weird things you know why. I mean, I guess it's still wrong because it's friend day, eh? but uh oh. So many. So dang many. And yet, it's death that gets you in the end. Yeah, 53 million, not bad. Heart of Fire did nothing because, well, the bats went down in one hit. But still, it helped. Push them back with Zoe. Well, that's two more down for the bats. So Space 54 was not much trouble, but Bat Country surprisingly was, 149. But two more down with Bat's Wick, and a very long time before I have to do Gyorutan again. Ah, uh, nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. Give a comment if there's any builds you want me to try. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. Have a good day, and keep mezzing around.